So we are gonna get the essentials to make this beautiful dish. We need zucchini or courgette. We are gonna get the smallest zucchini we can find in the market. Then we require minced lamb meat, Australian. Then I'm gonna get some dried mint. As well, I need seven spices. And lastly, we are gonna get tomatoes and they need to be soft. The best pizza in the world. Hello beautiful people, my name is Mark. I'm a chef and I live in Abu Dhabi. Today, I'm at home. I'm gonna teach you one of my favorite dishes, kusa with yogurt. Well, kusa really reminds me a lot of my mom. She used to make it for me at least once per week. The kusa is zucchini or courgette stuffed with rice. It is a very famous dish that everyone does in Lebanon. Well, today, lovely people, I'm gonna teach you my version, how to make it from scratch, but trust me, beautiful people, this dish is exquisite. We're gonna need short grain rice. And this, it's very essential because this will basically prevent the kusa from breaking. In a bowl, we're gonna add the washed short grain rice, the minced meat, the finely chopped tomatoes, the finely chopped onions, the seven spices that we got from the supermarket, the dried mint as well, a bit of salt, the olive oil, the pomegranate molasses. You can find it in any supermarket in Abu Dhabi. Also, a bit of finely chopped garlic. We're gonna mix the entire combination properly. You can use the spoon or your hand, but I always remember my mom used to make it with her hands. And lastly, I completely forgot, I am gonna add a bit of tomato juice to it, and as well, tomato paste. Oh my God, this dish really reminds me a lot of home. I really love this dish. It has vegetables, it has protein, it's delicious. It's very easy to make. And as well, beautiful people, this is the second step. Let's make the tomato broth. In a large bowl, we're gonna add a bit of tomato paste. Then we're gonna add the dried mint, a bit of salt, the finely chopped garlic, a bit of water. Then I'm gonna mix the entire combination properly until everything is properly incorporated. And lastly, as I can see, it still needs a bit of tomato paste. We're gonna start by washing the zucchini or courgettes. So we're gonna cut off the zucchini stalk. Then we're gonna slice off the dried tip at the opposite end without removing too much flesh. Now, beautiful people, I am gonna teach you how to core the zucchini properly. Lovely people, watch basically every step I do because everything is very essential to be able to make it successfully at home at any time. Hollowing the courgette is entertaining and easier than it seems. So, we are gonna core deep enough into the courgette to end up with a decent balance of stuffing. We're gonna insert the cutter into the courgette and then we're gonna twist. We're gonna pull out the core. We're gonna do this a few times, scrapping against the edge of the courgette with gentle pressure until we hollowed it out. By the way, beautiful people, do you know that Aziza does beautiful paintings? Let's check what she's doing so we can get to know more about her paintings. Hello, beautiful people. As you know, I'm also an artist behind of being a sous chef to my husband. And in my free time, I like to paint. I will show you a small part of my collection and we're gonna talk about two of my favorite paintings. So the first painting is love painting. It was done with a very bright colors, as you can see, with some touch of gold. Uh, it's all about love in this world and we cannot do anything. So this is why I emphasize on the love. I think it perfectly fits in a modern interior. The second painting is obviously about the sea. Who doesn't like bright colors? I personally enjoy so much being on the beach, watching the golden sand and blue water. The third step, we are gonna stuff the rice with the courgette. So, we're gonna fill each zucchini with the stuffing. So we need to leave one centimeter free at the top to allow the filling to expand. Then finally, we are gonna place a piece of tomatoes on the top of the courgette, as you can see in front of you. Now, this is the final step. Lastly, we are gonna cook the zucchini or courgette or kusa. Beautiful people, I have never introduced you to two of my beautiful cats. So first, we have Bosik. Bubu, what's the story about Bosik? Mr. Bosik was rescued in Dubai, actually, in Dubai Mall Parking. And the second cat that we have is Minouche. As well, we saved him. And Minouche, whenever you touch him, you always have this engine noise. All right, let's continue making this wonderful kusa dish. So we're gonna place the stuffed kusa and a pot. We're gonna place all of them next to each other. Then we're gonna add the tomato broth that we did. We're gonna bring it to a boil. 
We're gonna simmer over low heat for about 25 to 30 minutes, allowing the sauce to reduce. Finally, we're gonna serve the zucchini with a bit of sauce and as well of yogurt on the side. Have you ever made kusa at home? No? Yes? Leave me a comment and let me know. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this tour at home and making this beautiful kusa dish. We'll see you very soon with a new recipe. And by the way, if you have something on your mind, please leave me a comment and let me know. Maybe I can make it for you. We'll see you very soon. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. Ciao.